tell me a little bit about the M Shed and why people should come here? Well, M Shed is Bristol's newest museum, so that's a real reason for people to come. It's something they've never seen before. It was built out of the 1950s transit warehouse that was on the dockside. So if you're interested in the harbour, which is really important to Bristol, then that's why you should come, because it's the last place that you can see anything remotely to do with the working life of the docks. It's a fantastic space for all kinds of people, different age groups that come in. We've got lots of interactivity, thematic museum based on people and place and life in the city. So you really get to know what makes Bristol Bristol and what makes Bristolian. And um, what do you think is your most popular exhibit in the show? I would say there's a toss-up between two things about the most popular thing. We're sitting in it. So the bus. And one of the things that we tried to do when we put together the content was keep some of the things which were really important to people about the old museum. So this used to be the industrial museum and there were large vehicles. And the bus was one of the most popular things. But we've changed the display of the bus in the sense that this is not just about it being a bus, it's not just a, a vehicle that moves on two wheels, it's about the life that it had. So we have the driver's stories and the passenger's stories, people waiting at bus stops, drivers being suspended for taking their passengers for tea, and you can listen to those stories. So I think people come on here, and obviously children really like to be on the upper decks. In fact, one parent said it's the only place you can take your children on a bus for free in Bristol. What do you think, what's special that's going to be happening in M Shed over the next few months? So the thing that we're trying to do with M Shed is obviously we've got all the permanent displays. They're not permanent in the sense that they will always stay the same. We're always working to look at putting new information to the exhibition. So we have a dialogue with our visitors. And those could be people from Bristol or they could be from the rest of the world. We have comments that have been made to us from Germany and France, and Brazil and all, literally all over the world. But we want to absorb some of those stories that people are telling us about places they live, places that they work. 